going on everyone Lee Sports back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing my preview and prediction video for the New York Giants as this week week 16 they are taking on the Minnesota Vikings in Minnesota a tough game for the Giants but I'm really confident and I'm excited for this football game in which we can clinch the playoffs um, today there's three scenarios um, that we can clinch um, our first ever playoff berth since 2016. Um, and let's quickly go over those um, and let's talk about those scenarios um, that, in which the Giants can clinch the playoffs. So the first um, scenario out of the three is actually a very, I, I think it's, it's somewhat likely, I think you could say, um, for the New York Giants. That scenario is a New York Giants win and a Seattle loss over the Chiefs and a Washington loss over the 49ers. So I think this is entirely possible because I think if the Giants win this football game, I think we're going to the playoffs because I don't think Seattle's beating KC in Kansas City and I don't think Washington's beating San Francisco and Santa Clara. So that's the first one. The next one is the Giants win and a Seattle loss and Washington loss. And the other one is New York Giants win and Detroit loss and Seattle loss. So if Detroit loses, we would need one of Seattle or Washington to lose. So basically, if the Giants win and two of Seattle, Washington, and Detroit lose, two of those three, Giants are going to the playoffs. Or if all of them, of course, lose. So um, if the Giants win and two of those three or three of those three lose, which is entirely possible, I think we're going to the playoffs. Um, today we clinch um, so I, you know I think if the Giants can win um, you know I think we are playoff bound this you know this weekend before Christmas um, so we'll see how that all plays out but I'm gonna have the Giants win in this football game 27-23 that's my prediction the over under is 20 or sorry 48 and a half so I'm gonna have the over by just a point and a half Giants are four and a half point underdogs so I'm you know taking obviously the Giants there and um it's gonna be a good game you know vikings don't really have a good defense at all i mean we're gonna get into those numbers over the course of this video but first i want to talk about the injury reports for the two teams first for the visiting in our new york football giants of course adore jackson still out with that injury shane lemieux still out and xavier mckinney is of course still out um on nfir um there's nobody questionable for the giants for the first time maybe in forever it seems like um, you know, so that's good. On the other hand, it looks like the Vikings are just going to be without their center, Garrett Bradbury. Um, he won't play. Eric Kendricks is questionable, the hip injury, but is expected to play. So just one injury on that side for the Vikings. So pretty healthy, both the two teams. Um, you know, but I think that center is a huge loss for the Vikings. You take a look at the Giants' pass rush, it's fantastic. That from five, when... You know, they really haven't played together a lot, but they're playing together. And this is really, nobody wants to face this Giants front five. It, no one does. I mean, it is really, really good. And let's take a look at the defenses. And specifically for the Minnesota Vikings, they're last in total yards, second last in passing yards, 18th in rushing yards, 28th in points allowed. And they're middle of the pack on third down percentage in terms of defense. They are not very good there. Um... You know, Giants obviously better in terms of the third down defense. Giants have a really good red zone defense as well. Um, you know, so, um, you know, I, I think this is going to be a really, really good game, taking a look at all aspects of the game. And then, of course, um, Vikings offense, very explosive there. you got to watch out for Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, TJ Hawkins, and KJ Osborne. They have a ton of weapons, but they don't scare me, honestly. I think we can get to Kirk Cousins, and when you do that, he's a terrible quarterback. He is like, reminds me of Tom Brady in the pocket. So like I said, the Giants are going to need to get continued pressure today, and I think they'll be able to do so um, with Kayvon Thibodeau, with Aziz Ojolari, those two, uh, the one-two punch on the edge, those two wrecks on that edge. Um, you know, and then of course in the middle you got Dexter Lawrence, you got um, uh, Leonard Williams as well. So that front four for the Giants is really really scary. Um, you know, and and hopefully they're able to just continue to get pressure. You know, like I said, I think if they could do that, they're gonna have a really good shot today. But 
I think the Giants are going to win this football game, and I think the most important thing is really simple for the Giants in terms of the offense. Just take care of the time of possession. Minnesota's a terrible defense that, you know, you'll be able to run all over. So, you know, just continue to do that throughout the game today, and I think that the Giants should be fine. Um, they will be fine in that case. I think it's it's a really simple game that they have to play. Get the ball to Saquon Barkley. Get the ball, um, you know, to our playmaker and um, let him go to work. You know, the Giants are going to probably have a run-heavy approach here into this football game, um, you know, but they will still commit to the pass. You know, don't don't think that they won't pass the football because they will. Jones will still take shots down the field when the time is right, um, you know, and of course play turnover free football limit the turnovers I think that that Jones and the Giants will do that like they've done you know for the greater portion of this season get the ball to Darius Slayton and Isaiah Hodgins they have not let you know the Giants down um you know this season so continue to get them the football in the passing game and I think the Giants have a really good shot to win I got 27 23 but you guys let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on my predictions let me know what you think about this football game. Who do you got winning? Let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section. As always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys on the next video. And as always, let's go Giants.